In Galway's solo career, classical music has run alongside recordings of popular music. Earlier this year, he went into the studios to make his latest record. I have the great fortune in my particular gift that I can do a lot of things, and I absolutely strive to do these things no matter what. Where are we going to go from? Uh... So keep everything that you've got, don't lose anything. Do you think this is done at the expense of serious music? Because there's, there's no. a lot of the critics, a lot of the critics are very toffy nosed about crossover music, aren't they? I know. Well, listen, they're toffy nosed about classical music. What are you talking about? <laughs> These records do offer a very big artistic challenge. They're not so easy like you might think. Um, it's difficult to imitate a Tony Braxton or a Stevie Wonder. I mean, this guy is a wonder. And the compositions are excellent too. I try to play it so that it sounds like I'm improvising. This is a trick. I mean, you can play it and it sounds sometimes like you're side reading, but you have to get the music in your soul and then it sounds like you're really playing. He doesn't know how to, to swing things in a, in a way that a jazz musician or a pop musician would find natural. So what I've had to do is actually notate all this very specifically. Um, on the page. I write it out as hemi demi semi quavers with little lines and dots. And that's what he understands. I have time at home, I work on this all the time.